Hi! Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working on this piece of clay board that came in the Upgrade 38 box with a scratch board. I had an idea to etch it first before painting, but I really didn't know how to start, so I decided to paint first. Um, uh, painting with a, a golden acrylics, and because I'm mixing up all the colors first, I'm adding a little bit of acrylic retarder so they don't dry up while I'm working. I'm going to be painting a jaguar. Um, I love drawing cats, I've done tons of them. So I decided to take a slightly different approach to this one. Instead of um, drawing edge to edge or from the outline in, I've decided to work, um, start in the center and work my way out. That way I could use the black paint and kind of um, set up the, the shape and the contours of the spots. And it's also kind of nice watching it come together, um, possibly at the cost of some symmetry, but I was hoping that um, I could work out anything that comes up, so... I've got a couple of reference photos in front of me as well to kind of keep me on track. I should mention this is my first time using golden acrylics. Um, I've used acrylics before, just not this brand. I got these to try out and I'm quite liking them. They're very, um, very opaque, laying down very nicely, very vivid colors. Um, yeah, I have to say I like them. Um, there was something on the box I didn't like. They contain something that's not entirely good for you. So kind of um, have to wash your hands, make sure they don't come in contact with your skin too much but other than that they're really nice If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me post um, a photo of this drawing a few weeks ago now. And um, I have to apologize, I've basically had some live stuff where I just didn't have time to edit um, the videos of, of all the art I've done in the last few weeks. I kind of I always try to make time for drawing and um, my camera's always set up so I just hit record and I go at it. But um, I've ended up with a few videos now that have piled up and haven't been edited so hopefully I'll be posting quite a lot in the next few weeks because um, I might have done at least a dozen drawings um, in the meantime so uh, I should be putting out a lot of content um, in the coming few days and weeks. I've also recently started a red bubble shop where I've made um, some of my drawings available um, as printed media on a variety of merchandise um, like clothes, phone cases, stickers, what have you. Uh, it's not all on there but I've uh, just picked a few designs for now that I'll be adding to um, as I go. I'll put a link in the description. So um, if you have time to check it out, I'd really appreciate some likes and follows and all that stuff. Thanks. Also, since I've started uploading my art videos, I've been asked a number of times if I can upload some videos in real time so people can draw along with me. So I just wanted to explain, it's not that I mind doing it, the problem is with the way the YouTube algorithm works, um, some of my art videos in real time are an hour long or three hours or even five hours depending how much detail I go into. And um, if I put up a video that's three hours long and no one watches it or they click away in the first couple of minutes, 
then um, my channel, which is basically fairly new and ends up suffering because um, it just stops getting recommended to people and stuff. So um, I really can't do it on YouTube. So what I have done is I've started a Patreon account and I'm going to upload um, a whole load of art in real time. So anyone that wants to can um, draw along with me. There's going to be no talking, no, no extras, just art exactly as long as it took me to do and uh, a link to my discord server so if you wanted to ask me questions about how I did something or why I chose to do something a style or a method you'll be able to ask me any art related stuff directly again I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out Okay, now back to the drawing. I'm now etching the clay board um, in the direction of hair growth. Hopefully when I paint this, um, it's gonna make the fur a little bit more realistic. And um, yeah, so I've etched into some of the black and I'm now gonna be painting the color again in the direction of hair growth because it all helps the final visual effect. Also, in order for it to not look flat, I'm kind of changing the color as I go. A little bit darker here, a little bit lighter there, and just constantly changing. And you can see I've got a little bit of white mixed in and different shades of the same color. Just keeps it more kind of, um, not vibrant, what's the word I'm looking for? Just as it curves around the face, it just makes it more natural, I guess. I'm not sure if um, all the etching that I spent time doing is coming through quite as well as I hoped it would, but it is to some extent. And the reason I didn't want to do it after I painted everything and after I put the color down is because it would end up leaving white lines and, um, well, the reference photo I'm looking at in the Jaguars, I don't really have white as such. I really don't like leaving too much white on a page when I'm painting anyway because nothing in nature is ever really white except maybe a couple of little highlights if you know what I mean but um, having etched it beforehand what it does is when uh, the color goes down because of the grooves it still kind of shows a little bit um, differently to when it's just on a flat surface so even though it's not as distinct as I was hoping it would be, I'm not sure you can see it at all, at all in the camera, but um, it is coming through a little bit. I'm really glad I did um, some of the fur in, uh, in black as well, just some of those lines on the nose that really come through. The, um, the shading's actually coming through. I'm watering down the paint a little bit as well because um, it just makes it a bit more translucent and uh, it changes the color slightly. I love drawing eyes because they really bring the whole picture together and draw your attention. As I mentioned earlier, I don't like leaving anything actually white, so I'm mixing um, a slightly off-white color for all the light areas. And then I'll add um, white highlights as and where needed, which then end up showing up better on um, even on the lighter areas. Okay, so this is a really important bit, eyebrows and whiskers. 
I don't know how many times I've drawn a cat and forgotten to add the whiskers. So, um, yeah, I think um, he's got both white and black ones, so I'm going to have to add them in two colours. And a few finishing touches and we're almost done. Well, as always, thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. I really appreciate it. And if you have any um, suggestions or recommendations for me um, with regards to any of the mediums or techniques I used, um, I'd be happy and grateful to hear them. So please just leave a comment below. Thanks. Bye.